Yo, what's good, John? In today's video, I'm about to show you guys how to make a um door with a key card system and stuff. I just want to clarify: this is not a key code system. A key code system is like where you have a keypad. You have a keypad with like numbers one through not one to nine, and then you enter in like for like a four-digit code, and then it, the door opens and stuff. No, that would be a video that's coming out on Wednesday. What I'm doing. This video is showing you guys like how you ha you'll have like a, a key card you, you have in your hand. It's a tool, and then you walk up to a door, it'll open it, right? So yeah, let's get straight into it. This was a subscriber requested video and stuff. So yeah, let's get straight into it. First thing first, of course, we're gonna need a little key card. So let's insert a, a block real quick. We'll make this real real quick. You know what I mean? Because the focus of the video is, is scripting, not modeling. So we'll make ourselves a little key card. Um, about like. Uh, I feel like that. Yeah, I feel like that's good, right? Then I don't know why. When I imagine a key card, I just imagine it being green. I don't know, right? And then we'll call this our key. We'll call this key card, right? Um, make make sure it is unanchored and turn can collide off. Then you can duplicate it by doing Control D while having it selected. Then you could move move it out a little change the color simply it won't really matter since we're about to make it invisible but change the color simply so that you can uh skip so you know like where you're scaling it right so like you have it right there so it's like you're so it's like the you're holding it right because this is going to be your handle rename this to handle right then then oh will it duplicate it already but yeah um make this transparent right insert a tool into the workspace you're going to drop both of them into the tool. You can do this by clicking one, then holding control, then selecting both. I mean, then selecting the second thing, then dropping them both into tool, right? Then insert a weld constraint into the handle. Then you're gonna to wanna to make part zero the handle and then make part one the key card. So now in a way like they're binded together, I should say, right? Then we can go ahead and name the, the tool like key card level one right yeah we have something like that right and boom we have our key card it's done just like that we are done with the key card we have the inner setup pack now okay so now let's make a door let's make a quick little door something like that when i imagine a door that requires a key card i imagine like a not a wood door a metal door you feel me they kept in like military like you feel me so something like yeah, something like that and then of course, oh, let me do that. Now for this, you're gonna want to anchor it, right? You're gonna want to anchor it and leave can't collide on. Name it door, right? Leave it close to spawn. You can insert a server script. Pretty much what I'm trying to do, what I'm doing with this is the concept I'm doing is where like if a player walks up to the door with the right card and stuff, the door will become uh partially transparent as well as it'll allow the player to walk through it and stuff like and it'll make the change f for all players because it's a server side change and stuff now the reason i'm doing that is because majority of games that involve um having doors that use like key cards and stuff they usually have it where like the change affects all players and not just like for one player you know because like that's kind of like it's more realistic because the whole point is you're trying to prevent like usually this system is used in like games like prison games and SCP, scp games and stuff we're trying to keep prisoners in an area and stuff so that's why it makes more sense to use the server script right but yeah so we're going to use the server script you can name this um unlock door script right and then what you're going to do is do script dot parent dot touch to connect function then in parentheses put hit then enter then you're gonna do if hit dot parent fine I mean not five or so <clears throat> dot name is equal to then you would insert the name of your tool right so mine is key card level one right oh and then a bracket right then enter right so if that so if that like passes the check and stuff, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to change the door. We're going to do script dot parent dot transparency is equal to zero point five. Script dot parent dot can't collide is equal to false. So they're able to walk through it. We'll put a wait of like me like one second. 
then you can just go ahead and copy and paste this and then literally just do the opposite make that zero and then set it back to true and boom we have successfully made a door with a key card we go ahead and test this oh by the way I renamed this no cap headquarters I just I feel like it's cooler you know what I mean but anyway um so we have our key oh well it's not facing the right way but it, it don't really matter so we walk up to it right obviously the door obviously won't budge right to get our key card you can walk through it and it's invisible now obviously the chain only for a second so that's why it changes back really quickly right as you can see I can't walk through it to get the, to get the card right boom it's honestly, it's honestly really simple, but yeah, that's how you make a key card, uh, key card door system and stuff. I hope this video was useful. This script will be in the description as always. If you guys need help, leave a comment down below or join the Discord and ask for help. Uh, links to join my Discord and Roblox group can be found in the description. Thank you guys for showing how the love and support on my videos. We're at 301 subscribers. Let's get the journey going to 400. You feel what I'm saying? Like, let's keep it going. I'm trying to be consistent. I'm trying to make steady growth and you know what I mean? So I appreciate you guys for sticking with me and stuff. And yeah, let's let's keep it going. I hope this video was helpful to the subscriber who requested it as well as anyone else who requested it. If the video was helpful, drop a like and subscribe. And thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys.